toy review! Toy review! Oh no, I didn't bring the car no! Ah, I gotta go down. Oh, I gotta go downstairs. Oh <laughs> We are back! And welcome to opening plastic things with the Oh, with the guy who likes to stretch. Oh, that's good. And today we're gonna be looking at one of the many T-Rexes that have came out for the uh, Mattel line. Uh, my brain was like Hasbro, Hasbro. If you haven't seen it already, I have done a video on these toys. So you can click, I think it's up there. There should be a little annotation if I remember to put it in. Who knows, right? I don't. So before we bring out the T-Rex, there are uh, multiple, I was gonna put a toast there. There are multiple T-Rexes. You have one that can sort of bite. There is a thrash and throw T-Rex and there's a super colossal T-Rex. And luckily I have them all here so I can show you them. And introducing the thrash and throw T-Rex is of course my beautiful assistant. Hello? God, what, what, where is she? What the freaking? It's not like I pay or anything. Oh, I have to go and get the toys myself, like some sort of poor boy. So first off, this is the Thrash and Throw T-Rex, which is the one that we are going to be unboxing today. Um, so if you move the tail up, I said, if you move the tail up. Yeah, you get this really good roll. And if you move it down. Ooh, well you get that. I, basically, if you move it down, he's supposed to bite. And if you move it up, he roars. But it's a bit hard to do inside the box, dear. So that is the medium one. And this one costs or retails at around about 45 pound. So it is quite expensive, actually. This is, of course, the Super Colossal T-Rex. Um, it is absolutely massive in comparison to it. This may be the biggest toy that they have released for this line. I have yet to see the Mosasaur, but uh, I mean, we know, all know the Mosasaur is a little bit longer than a T-Rex, so I'm hoping not too much longer else for the heck are you gonna put this thing? And of course, you have the smallest of the line so far, and that is the Legacy T-Rex. And all this one does, <laughs> 20 pound, 45, and can't remember because I bought it on eBay and got scalped. Eee! But we're not looking at those, so I'll put those back. Maybe at the very end when I've unboxed the last one, we'll have a little size comparison. Ugh. Why do I do it? So we'll take a quick look at the back of Zibox. So you have the T-Rex here. Uh, saying that you can sort of wiggle that like a circular motion or any motion and he'll move his head up and down and bite on the little if you can see there the little uh, dinosaur things so we, these things actually is what it's referring to so they're actually quite small but apparently it wants us to uh, attack and throw the little mini dinosaurs they're really trying to sell these things it's like you can you can have your your thrasher t-rex uh, bite it yeah you you can put it in your big colossal t-rex <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna use the human characters for that at all. Kids have imaginations, don't they? Yeah, move the tail down, you've got a roar. Move the tail up and down, you can bite and throw things. And also, the feet actually have a stomping sound to them, which was first introduced by the Red Rex that Kenna had. And then I think it was sort of left until Jurassic World with their stomp and strike T-Rex came out. But we don't talk about that. In fact, I probably will bring it up here because uh, just as a comparison because oh, oh, oh it's gonna be a good comparison but without further ado how about we get this thing out of the box do, 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 do. why do i have that song in my head harry potter magic things oh, oh god <laughs> oopsie daisies did i just break the light oh there you go Oh, beautiful. Look, you can put the box back together when you're done with it. And here it is! In all of her glory. Look at her lovely sculpt. I remember when I first saw this, I, I don't I don't know this is supposed to be that same T-Rex where it was on the Ellen show or something It was on some sort of uh, American morning program um, And you, I, I'll put up an image of it because I used it as a thumbnail and just the T-Rex was like so wide-hipped But if you look at this thing 
they fixed it. I don't know what version they had there because it wasn't the Super Colossal because even the Super Colossal at the front doesn't look like that. And the one that they used, oh, oh, hello. The one they used on their show was this one because it had all the cuts for the necks and articulation, but it was so wide hipped. So obviously uh, that was a prototype or something that they showed off. Uh, or they heard all of our comments and were like, whoa, what's wrong with that? And toned it down because there was something weird about that, that T-Rex. But like I said, as you can see there, look at that. Because the other one was like out here. It was, it was like, there's some childbirth and hips. Look at it, look at it there. Look how good it looks. So size comparison, should we, before we get into the sound effects and stuff, let's bring Alan, no, Alan, there you go. Even though it doesn't look really anything like Alan. Of course, remember this, um, this character is actually bigger than the other ones that we're going to get, the human characters at least anyway. So if I was to get down here like a true man child, you just have a good look at it. Love the eye detail on that. Finally, we have a T-Rex with a circular pupil. Yes. God, it only took us how many years to get that right? Wait, did the did the Red Rex have it? Oh no, the Bull T-Rex had it. Red Rex had a, a slit eye like a snake, but the Bull T-Rex did have a circular eye. But it's nice to see Rexy herself get, um, because that Red Rex is supposed to be Rexy. Yeah, look, look how times have changed here. <laughs> how many years later? 25 years later, and look how much you have changed. Look at that. Look at that, time's been good to you. I've got to admit, this T-Rex looks so much, like the sculpt, and I'm gonna say it, this, this T-Rex looks a lot better than this Red Rex. Now, a lot of people have begged the question, so does this mean Mattel's better than Hasbro? Oh, I mean, well, that's obviously true. Is Mattel better than Kenner? Um, and it seems like everyone's jumping on the bandwagon with these toys because they're new. Remember last time, Classic World, we were all singing the toys' praises until we woke up after the honeymoon period was over. So I think people are doing the same with these toys and the Kenner ones. It's like, yeah, yeah, they're way better than the Kenner. These are the best ones we've ever had. We, we've had them for like two weeks. We don't know if they're going to last the ages. I will admit, the sculpt for this T-Rex, as you can see right here, looks beautiful. It, it looks really, 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 really good. That is, that's better than this sculpt. That's better than the Red Rex's sculpt by far. But as far as quality goes, I still love the rubber feeling skin. And this thing is 25 years old. Yes, it's broken. Right? The posture is a bit mm, as well with the arms because it's the Red Rex's arms are like that. Whereas these ones are way better. For some odd reason, I don't, I don't know why they did that because it was based on the Stan Winston maquette. And this is electronic. It's, it's different. It reflects the times uh, we were in. I mean, this had a roar. Like, well, you could do that to open its mouth. You could stomp to make the stomping noises, which is broke now. You could also uh, open the mouth down here with a spring mechanism that's actually broke now. I, I wouldn't go as far as saying that it's better. I really wouldn't. Um, I would say that they're, they're both, re I'd say they're both solid 10s. Not even lying, they are both solid 10s. Somebody wanted me to give these 10 out of 10. You cannot compare this to this. <laughs> it's uh, completely different. Just thought so, just so I'd clear that up with you guys because some people were a bit annoyed. I was like, they're not six or sevens. In the grand scheme of things, they are. They're good, but they're not amazing. They're not like, throw all your money at them, you know what I mean? So, if you look at the bottom, we'll focus on that. This, this is the stomp and strike uh, little underfoot. So there you go, you can scan it, having your game. But, the strange thing is, it, is, it like sticks out. And this is actually the trigger for the toy to know if it should make the stomping sound. So if you press on it, there it is. And that's actually a really nice sound effect. I, I can't remember the one for the Red Rex, but it didn't sound like that. This sounds a lot better. I mean, you know, it's 25 years old, but still. Uh, you've got like the little speaker there. <laughs> Don't like looking at it. <laughs> you've got moving arms, which are, can only move it up and down. And really, the f look how solid that stood. No wobble or anything on that. Jesus. I love how you get this like, secondary animation from it. You can just shake it and look at that head. It sort of moves there. I'm just wobbling it a little bit. Okay, let's perform that classic roar. Oh, hold on. Oh yeah, also like you could, you've got like the shaking sound effect. So when you pick up and grab a figure and it's like whoosh, whoosh, it makes that sound effect. There, look at that. If I get it like really close up to the mic. Yeah, whoosh, I really like that. It's a shame. Hold on, can we? So this is the pickup sound effect when it's about to lunge for Alan. Ah, oh, that's great! Look at that! Yum! That's awesome! Hold on! 
We need to make him eat Alan. Oh, actually, he's a bit too big. I think I need. To, I think I need to pick up the T Rex in order to do this. He's gonna get him. He's gonna get him. And oh yeah! Oh, by the head. <laughs> And shake him! Ah, oh, holy crap! That was amazing. That's exactly what like a kid sees when they play with these toys. But it actually happened. You know what? I get what they were trying to do for balance. But this toy, I mean, even the legs kind of rotate like that. You can see, you can pull a, pull the legs out. So if I've got to be honest, there's no real need to have these twisty feet. I get it, it's for balance, but you've got everything else. The toy itself is really well balanced. You've got the hip joint, so really if you need to, well, you don't need to. There's, so I would say having these ro rotating feet is actually a bad thing. Like playing wise, it just ends up twisting the feet and stuff. And it's another thing that could eventually just fall off. What kind of T-Rex has a foot like that? <laughs> look, look how far she's come waddling about there. If you put it sideways feet. <laughs> <laughs> I can grab Alan and we can do the roll. I don't know, because the feet move, it's quite hard to get a grip. I know that's a bit of a weird thing to say, but yeah, I, I'm finding it like, it's, it's sort of slipping from underneath this hand, all the feet. All the feet, both feet. Uh, it's a really good mechanic. It's just, like then, however they showed it in the Mattel demonstrations, he made it look so easy. But like, if you hold the feet down here, the feet slip away. And if you hold it up here, like a bit like a gun, like a kid would, like that, there you go. I could do that. That's easy. But then when it comes to actually biting them, I just, it, it just gives, like the leg gives before I can do it anymore. There, oh, damn it. <laughs> You're supposed to roll when you put your mouth like that. Yeah, like I can't, he's just too big. <laughs> there we go. And then can we throw him about? Yeah. And then one final, one final, one final. Oh my God. You're supposed to roll, damn it. Oh, that's it. It's down and to the left. Or not. But if you just, I'm looking at it in the camera and it just looks so good. Look at that. What, what's my favorite so far? I'd say like toast is my favorite, but this, if you want one T-Rex, get this one. Ah, oh, nam. I mean, time will tell if this mechanic will work in the future. Uh, like that's the only way. I mean, right now, the, like you can't even hear the mechanics. You can't really hear the squeaking or the clicking of the um, the workings inside. The only thing you hear is the clicking of the jaw. And to be honest, if you hear that, like the sound of the T-Rex actually covers up the mechanics really well, that little click anyway. Ready? Three, two, one, two! Oh. Messing about aside, how about we make that all important comparison? to the chomp and strike T-Rex that Hasbro crapped out. Let's see if I've still got it. I found it, I got it, I got it. Yes, 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 here it is. Oh, ho, 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 this is the chomp, chomp, the chomp and strike T-Rex. Yes, separated by three years of manufacture and amazing reviews. The Chomp and Strike T-Rex from Hasbro and the Thrash and Throw T-Rex. Which one's better? Hmm, let's, let's, first let's compare them side by side. We'll, we'll get, um, we'll get, we have to get this guy's good side, because look, <laughs> bullet holes, so I'm sorry, Rexy, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to turn you this way. Okay, well, let's get them both around about the same height. There you go, ish. That's that's the best we are gonna do. Oh lord, look at it! Oh my god. Let's compare, shall we? Let's compare uh, their stomping sound effects uh, before we do anything, because that's they both have that. So let's let's hear the uh, chop and strike for Hasbro. Oh. Okay. And then your footstep. Ooh. So this one's a lot more bassy. And this one's 
This one's way more clear. The Emmettel one's way better. Okay, let's do the uh, the raw down. I think it was. Okay, got a very guttural T-Rex sound effect. Okay, let's try this, guys. This one sounds like it's just about to bite its prey. Like, you hear this. That's like, ah, and then it bites. This one's more like, see this. I will say, however, that the Chomp and Strike, uh, this one, only has one sound effect. Whereas this has two. So, now, the classic roar! Okay, and then this guy's roar. So... You see, you can't go back down without doing that. Why are you doing it a third time? You're, you're done! You're, yeah, yes, we get it! Oh my god. It is actually the same. Oh, shut Oh my god! Shut up, nobody wants to listen to you! They're both the same roars, and I actually, yeah, I, as far as sound effects go, that's really all this had going for this uh, uh, chop and strike. That's the only part that the chop and strike could hold a candle to with this new thrash and throw. Now, if we look at aesthetics wise, we just like get that guy out of the way, chop and strike. You've got this awful, awful tail. What, what were they thinking? <laughs> it's freaking awful, but it's a different color. It's, it's completely hollow. If we get like a side shot, I can squish it so I can feel the, the air capacity in the middle. Like, listen to this. That's me squishing the air in the middle. One thing that it comes down to with these two toys is this has a terrible center of gravity. If we just turn it towards the camera there, it's leaning this way. And would you believe the foot that should be balancing it, that should be forward holding the way it's leaning, is behind. Yeah, that's right. This foot should be where that foot is. It should be up front so you don't end up with that happening where it falls over. Bonus review. There you go. That's what it is. Here we go. This is what we'll do. We'll get a good close-up of the hands, right? Chop and strikes hand. Look at that. Wrinkly old little maggot hand. Thrash and throws hand. An actual T-Rex hand with uh, like definition of muscles bone structure one thing that i'm re i'm not too great about or happy with is like the segment cuts as you can see here you've got cut 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 but saying that there are only three cuts it's solid plastic they knew what they were going to do on to what not to do her ex-boyfriend you this is what you're not to do how many segments do we have here one two three four you got four segments an absolute, like, what is the point? You've got this little bit, you've got like a little maneuver segment here, but what's the point of having another segment for this flappy tail? It's just god awful, this whole thing. Like, the, the overpainting, if you look at the teeth, the overpainting of the teeth, it looks like it's lost teeth. Obviously, this T Rex does not brush its teeth. The extra dark brown uh, paint for the mouth, the lizard eye you've got there, the whole definition of the T Rex head. Is not Rexy. Look at that. It can't even see straight forward. What kind of predator is this? It's a herbivore. It's got, it doesn't have binocular vision. Just look at its stances. You got that one, or you got that one. Feet alone, like it's just an extended, like, velociraptor. If you look at those claws on those toes, just the toes in general, it's just, it's just got this really long, I don't even know what kind of dinosaur that is. If you look at the thrash and throw, that's T Rex's foot right there. That's a big, Theropod carnivore, you, you compare the two. There, there is no comparison, honestly. In fact, there's extra squeaking there. There's no longer, this is three years old, and no longer is there just like click, 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 because there was loud clicking. Now you've got this extra squeaking three years later. Like, I can't- there, Jesus! So now no longer do you have this, like, smooth action of up, down, up, down. Now it gets stuck. You can do the roll. And then, look, look at that! Look at that! It's- I feel like I have to break the bloomin' toy! In other words, the Chomp and Strike T-Rex is a complete letdown. Now let's try- now bear in mind this is only after a, you know, a couple of days of opening, or two days of opening. But if, if three years is anything to go by, hopefully this has no uh, problem. So you've got that. And you could do this over and over. All I can hear is the snapping of the jaw. That's it. That's all I can hear. If you listen. 
I don't hear any mechanics going on here, any clicking, any mechanism like clicking into place. And for the raw, no clicking, no nothing. And then if you compare it to this, in other words, die, die, die. There you go. And the mechanic for the leg, like in the Chomp and Strike T-Rex, he had like this segment cut, this segment cut, and it was all a spring action all the way up. Whereas they've done a much better job here. They were like, why do we need all that? Just put a button. So let's say, let's say a kid is playing with their human toys and they want them to hear the T-Rex. They don't have to do this in the background. All they have to do is this. Do you hear that? Got it, got it. I now know how to do the roll. It's basically, if you want to do the bite action, you twist the tail up. Like, try rotate your hand like that. Don't try and move the actual T-Rex up. Just twist it. You, you, that's all you need to do is just twist it. Don't try and force your arm up. Just twist. And if you want the roll, do the opposite. Twist your hand the other way. This is it, guys. You want a T-Rex that has it all, electronics, stomping feet, biting action, and an amazing sculpt and paint job? This is the one you want. What's it even called again? <laughs> the Thrash and Throw Tyrannosaurus Rex. Super Colossal is great. It's, it's big, it looks like the sculpt, of course, because it's just like a scaled up version of this, is great. But as far as like a kid or um, a toy collector goes, this is probably the, the Rex that's closest in scale. This right here is all down to us. We didn't want that Hasbro crap anymore. We demanded better. If I might not be mistaken, maybe the best T-Rex figure we've ever gotten because of everything that it does. I'm not gonna lie. I like the Red Rex, I like the Bull Rex. I like, mo I like the Thrasher T-Rex. That's my favorite from the, the Lost World franchise, that T-Rex. The only thing that's letting this guy down is the rubber. It doesn't have the rubber. But apart from that, this is the one, guys. This is the one you want. This is what we've been waiting for. And anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.